Jacob? I think you know why you're here. Please, Prince Anderson, I, I promise I'm going to get my grades up. Jacob, this is far from the first time we've had this conversation, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but... No, Jacob, you've been given ample time to get your grades up, and you have not succeeded in doing so. Y yeah, but, but that's just because... Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. Please, please don't make this any more difficult than it needs to be. We're an institution of higher learning. We've got protocols. This isn't about me, or even about you. This is about the institution as a whole. Yeah, I, 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 Jacob, you're a really good kid. I like you very much. We go back a long way, don't we, Jacob? Wait a second, in the 10th grade, you were the star of that, that musical production. Chicago, wasn't it? Oh my god, you were fantastic. So what tango, wasn't that the number? Yeah. You just brought down the house. I'm gonna remember this really for the rest of my life, and I'm gonna remember you too. Thanks, Chris Patterson. That really means a lot. I wish circumstances could be different, but you know as well as I do that when your grades fall below a certain threshold, the disciplinary action is required. So Coop, you hear that uh, Samantha and Vinny broke up? Dude, are you serious? Yeah. No, 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 no. Jacob is right here, and his parents are here, and they're not taking this well. Well, he was a legacy at Brown, so. <laughs> Mr. Kasdan! Hard at work, I assume. Well, actually, sir, I was just here at the stoning. That, that wouldn't be an excuse, Mr. Kasdan, would it? I mean, you know what they say about excuses. They get you tied to a tree. That stuff. Um. <coughs> okay. I hope we're not going to have to interrupt classes for a second time this week. It's so disruptive, the screams of agony, the shrieks of despair. Bad for the classes. Interrupts the learning process. Yes, sir. <coughs> well, carry on, Casper. What? Dude, you are so dead. No, no, listen. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm not a dick. But you're dead. Absolutely done for. Dude, I'll hit the books for a few days. It'll be fine. be working through that because I know how important it is to study and I think that you would do constantly reminding a student of the consequences for not studying doesn't make them study harder really because knowing the consequences is exactly why I studied until 2 in the morning last night I know what's at stake so I don't waste my time on things that would get me sent to the tree what an interesting life you must live Mr. Grunhard, but I just really need help for this test we're doing for this concept. What concept? About combinatorics, specifically. So you want me to reteach you combinatorics? Well, well, not exactly, sir. I just thought you could help me better understand the concept. What exactly were you doing in my class all of last week? To be honest, I, I had other things on my Oh, yes. Jacob, right? 
Jacob was an okay kid. Uh, he was great in that production of Chicago a couple years back. Great voice. He was a legacy of Brown, you know? Such a shame. You know, Cooper, that stoning really made me think of my days as a youth. Probably know I was a pretty great pitcher back then. 94 mile per hour fastball. That's why everybody always gets so excited when I show up at the Stonies. Ah, the roar of the crowd always gets me so riled up, you know? Anyway, uh, my advice for you would be to uh, listen harder in class and really study and hit those books and um, pay attention and learn this stuff on your own, you know? You can get into that habit for next time. Sure, the thing is, the test is tomorrow, and if I don't get above a B minus, I'll have to. Uh... Get stoned yourself? Yes, I know. Guess you better brace for impact. <laughs> because of the stony, you'll need to brace. Thanks for coming in, Jacob Cooper. Go, thank you, uh, you did good, you got help from a teacher, that's what you should do, and now go leave the office. Thank you. I am hungry with anticipation to see how you do on this, Cooper. Um, okay. Mr. Kasdan, are you aware of what is riding on this test? Are you cognizant that your entire future is at stake here? Yeah, and what future is that? I keep living just to spend my entire life with my head buried in a book. Are you questioning the importance of school? That's a stoning worthy offense right there. Mr. Gunter, this is not a fascist dictatorship. Students are free to voice their opinions, no matter how stupid they may be. Of course, it is that stupidity that earns them the right to be stoned. I'm not questioning the importance you put on school. I'm questioning the level of importance you put on it. Adolescence is the most transformative time during a person's life. And if you spend that time teaching them that the only important thing in life is studying, then you're not shaping our country's next generation. You're creating robots. Learning is just as important outside of the classroom as it is inside the classroom. And if you're too stupid to see that, then maybe you should be stoned. Mr. Cat Cooper, that's the most profound and most moving statement I've ever heard from a student. Thank you, sir. It's a shame that your grades I haven't reflected it. <laughs> 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 Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.